also I will be doing part 111 or 111 of the elemental series videos and what I'm doing is helping people see what's already around them and what's inside of them by giving a zoomed in and zoomed out perspective of the element being discussed. So In part one, we talked about instinct. In part 11, we talked about discernment. And in this one, it's like you're merging the two with instinct and discernment. So the instinct is more from a, it's like a gut instinct, right? And discernment is, like I described, it comes more from an experience and like a certain type of wisdom, which is kind of like a higher level um, or a higher vibrational aspect than instinct, than uh, gut instinct. Not that one is good and one's bad, it's just they're from two different sides. So this is kind of merging the two and you get spiritual instinct which like the other two is also the fire element so spiritual instinct it's like a higher level instinct it's where the body and spirit or soul however you want to look at it but is basically in communion communion with one another um, you can kind of look at it like enlightenment too, but it's basically like the body can follow, the body has a direct connection with the spirit, but it's on, it's through, it's like unconscious. So your subconscious should be in check already. You should be pretty aware of the subconscious realm and so on and so forth and at that point it's like your body is re-attuned so that it can effortlessly act in alignment with your spirit so it's like your spirit is fully operating in your body but it's not like mental where you have to think about all this type of stuff and it's not really strictly emotional either where you, um, it's all about, again, like emotion and stuff like that is more this fluid connection between, like I said, the spirit and the physical. Um, it's like conscious and unconscious at the same time. But the unconscious acts faster. So you're moving at a speed that's much faster than if you were trying to like meditate on something or tap into it through going into the mental state or the emotional body and all that. It's again, it's, it's just like reacting. So it's like spiritual, it's like you're impulsively moving, but it's guided spiritually. And the more in tune you are, the just the more efficient you become. So 111 is also the number three. Three one. 
it's also it's also the number three. And this is tied to discipline. And like I said, three ones, so thirty one or thirteen. It's also tied to that utopia state. But it's like a heaven on earth type of thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like the physical and the spiritual, but the spiritual on earth. Not in a fallen sense, but in a stellar sense. In a mm, apostolic messenger, how, whatever word you want to use. It's transmitting and receiving state but you're operating as the signal itself if that makes sense <laughs> it's quite just like pure energetic and then that discipline aspect comes into play where there's a certain level of discipline where you don't get too caught in the physical and you don't get too much in the spiritual where there's a proper balance between the two where you're spiritually moving in the physical and they work together one isn't really overly dominating the other or restricting the other. Now, there's also discipline with instinct. So having discipline with instinct having discipline with instinct is not necessarily like you're taming an animal or like anything like that it's more so you're understanding how to control and maximize that energy This is like when you're being physically fed through spiritual means instead of having to be fed off of, you know, just physical experiences, food, different things like that. Your body is more so fed off of, again, the spirit. You're able to effortlessly react and maneuver around any type of barriers, blockages, restrictions, and the way that you kind of move through those situations is with, like I said, effortlessly, it's like minimal effort maximum result well not i shouldn't say maximum but the most appropriate result or reaction necessary to get the the desired result so this is like you're able to walk through walls you're able to let things phase through you you can phase through other things you can stop things in its tracks you can propel things like it's a very uh high level state to be at in the physical realm it's 
matrix breaking. <laughs> knowing how the physical can become fluid and it's not as solid as you may think or believe it's a different type of energy as well where like I said you're not really fueled or utilizing the physical as much or if at all to the point where your body starts functioning at just at a different level, so it's able to do different things. And it's happening not just in the physical, but on the spiritual level too. So it's the connectivity between, like I said, the, the higher and the lower and the middle aspects. It's also a different type of energy that isn't really... apparent um, or noticeable it's very it's what it, it's what it needs to be at the time it needs to be it so it doesn't necessarily stand out really ever because it's like I said it, it's it's what it needs to be at the time it needs to be it. So it could be relaxed in a relaxed situation and it flows with that. It can be in a highly dangerous situation and able to maneuver right through that. So it's able to match whatever it needs it's at but then plus plus one it <laughs> just just do enough to move through it but so so it's not wasting energy like I said this element is fire and it's like a different type of fire though so this type of fire isn't necessarily it's temperate for what it needs to be. It is also is a more matured version of fire. If, if handled if handled well. It's not like a fire that just like burns up everything or just lights up everything or just is extreme is is un uh, knowingly destructive to everything it touches it kind of it could be like a healing fire it could be a um, a cold fire it could be a destructive fire it could be an energizing fire it's what it needs to be for when it needs to be it it's very consistent and then it's also it's not more than it needs to be either so it doesn't it might not appear like i said it, it's hard it, it's hard to notice it's very subtle but it's moving very meticulously through is very it's moving in a very in a very detail oriented way through very through subtle situations but without having to think about it because it's fire it doesn't really have to think um that's air you know but but it's moving very thoughtfully so it's un but it's unconscious so in the matrix when neo started blocking bullets and then he started when he when he dropped the bullets for the first time and then he was fighting the smith and then he started blocking him with one arm and he started turning his back to him while blocking him. <laughs> it's like kind of like that type of stuff you know that was the awakening of tapping into that energy now 
this state is it can be highly destructive, it can be highly productive. Like I said, it's what it needs to be when it needs to be it. It allows a person to really move along their way, move along the direction they need to they need to without obstruction not because there isn't any blockages but because it can flow right through them not even necessarily around them but right through them when things that obstruct this way come comes towards it it can utilize its mind as well to shape the situation into what it needs to be it doesn't necessarily like i said have to overly do anything it doesn't have to go out of its way to make something happen it doesn't it doesn't step on its own foot, it doesn't really waste any kind of time, waste any kind of energy. And it doesn't necessarily have to control everything either. It's more so about self and then anything that interacts with self can't become a blockage the resistance is hyperactively registered into the system and able to be integrated and then well, consumed, integrated, and released. There isn't a karmic attack, um, for the most part, a karmic attachment that is created out of the out of the situation. It's more so like you get credit <laughs> it can allow again your life to just start flowing and moving in a way where that discipline part is important because it keeps you balanced within within that state of spiritual instinct balance is key in that state and discipline is key to the balance aspect It's foundational in, in, when it comes to how to remain in that spiritual instinct state for longer periods of time and on top of that be able to strengthen it to a mastered or perfected level of that where it's operating from a level where It's more like a true form of that. Of that spiritual of that spiritual instinct. You're able to be entirely honest. But at the same time.
it's like a strong honesty where all the vulnerabilities are all the vulnerable spots are more so of that honesty are more so covered and protected and accounted for so you're able to act as a true in a true aspect of yourself within all environments and remain in that state at all times. 